baby. We're back. Hi, guys. It's good to see you all again. Sorry it's been forever. It has just been a madhouse over here, just trying to work schedules, juggling life balance, all that sort of crap. So sorry I haven't gone so long. I know it's been like two months, but, you know, we're getting there. We're getting back on track. So I'm finally getting back into my new method, new method, routine. So we're going to be back and doing some more videos. I do have um, a bunch of reaction videos coming. I do have gameplay videos coming. I recently, though, had to reset my computer and stupid me forgot to save. I had a bunch of videos saved, but not their actual edited versions. You can see the problem. So it's going to take me a minute to re-edit things and get those videos back up and running. So yeah, we're back again. So just to jump right back in, because I have, I've been playing a little bit of Honkai lately, but not as much as I would have liked, but I'm, I'm slowly getting back into the, the method and everything. Uh, but yeah, so we got a new trailer for everyone. And so I think this one's only pretty recent. Uh, yeah, we got the Kyoden A Cleave Across the Transient World uh, Myriad Celestia trailer. Sound interesting. I don't know Kyoden. Um, I think I'm saying that right. Like I know a lot of characters, but there's, there's that many. It's hard to keep track of them all. So I'm very curious to see who this person is, what they're about, uh, any cool moves says whatnot. Um, yeah, I jumped on the other day. I'm just having an absolute blast still with Honkai. It's good. I'm in that kind of weird place though, where like the story's kind of losing me a little bit, but the the combat and everything is still like fun. So hopefully it, it pulls me back in more. So I'm curious to see you know, who this guy is, what they're about. So what do you say we just jump straight into this and see what kind of madness we're, we're looking at? So in three, two, one, bam. Also, really quickly. If you have any suggestions of other stuff we should look up or get into or check out, not, not only uh, Honkai, but um, go check out uh, there's other versions, uh, other games like uh, Impact 3, I think some people are talking about. Um, if you have any suggestions, let me know. We'll go have a look. So here we go. Do you still remember no, why Izumo forged these blades? Okay, just off the bat, that sort of art style that I had right there, I adore that style. I love that kind of art. Because in times past, when the Yao Yorozu no Kami descended here, okay. they brought okay. death and disaster on this world and its people. Bones. To save okay. the world, Izumo splintered 70,033 wow. blades and forged them into the 12 Sentinels. Pretty. The first was truth, forged by the Sovereign of Revelation. It could teach mortals the way of the law and create miracles from the deconstruction of all things. The big ass sword! The second was sky, forged by the eternal zenith. It could form a barrier from the firmament and prevent the innumerable gods of misery from passing through. That's cool. The third was howl. Able to summon lightning to rend the heavens and meteors to rain down to the Oh, not the dragon! The fourth was mist, able That's to break us. earth and tear cloud with biting wind and rain. Love it. That's cool. The fifth was frost, freezing the land in an instant. Pretty, pretty. The sixth was fate, the restless cycle of life and death. Ooh. Then there was flare, thought. Root, form, bind. I was genuinely wondering, like, are we going to go the long explanation of every sword? But yeah, now let's put it up. And what is that? Ma, with those sentinels, we seized on tomorrow's expectation, winning victory after victory. Until all of them were broken. The price of every victory was a world in its entirety. And in the end, that entirety was lost. And so Izumo splintered 12 sentinels and forged them into two bearers. The first was origin. The second was end. The world forged 70,047 blades, and only one could save Izumo. But you and I both the road to salvation does not exist. There is no trace of tomorrow. Resisting the Kamigami, humanity will eventually become- Whoa, we got like shadow mud people. 
sorry, like I was just like fully drawn in. Like I just, the, that art style of this, I just I love it, and I just I appreciate it. Especially like watching that being combined with animation is so nice. Oni, we pawned everything for the destruction of two worlds. In times past, Takamagahara, upon which the Kami descended, was surely as beautiful as Izumo. So, do you still remember why Izumo forged these blades? Because of a lie. An end that never existed. We long since strode into their shadow. Each step forward, one that we can never walk back. Is that the black hole? Until the last blade is forged into. Not. I knew this world was fleeting. And yet. Oops. Sorry, I hit a button. And yet. Get what? And yet. What? Nothing. Okay. Initial impressions. That was awesome. The art style rocked. Combined with animation, was very clean. Absolutely loved it. I talk like I know anything about animation. I don't, but I can appreciate it. It looked awesome. Trying to understand what the story was here, like, so, like, in their world, you know, there was obviously uh, darkness, light, whatnot, but then 12 swords came, and then those swords were used to fight back evil and darkness, whatnot, but I'm guessing the point was to, to trying to make was that every time they did that, there was, a, for all the good they did, there was an equal amount of bad that built up, and then it became too much and destroyed them? Uh, is, is that what they meant? I'm, I'm going to have to rewatch it again just to fully grasp what they were talking about. Because like, I get the idea, I get the concept, but then all, all the, the evil going on is just like, okay, what, is this a black hole? Did everything went so bad that just the, the world's going to be destroyed no matter what you do? I don't know, but like, uh, just this, this image alone, I adore this. It looks so good. That looks really, 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 really cool. I mean, I'm, I'm even tempted to like to make this as like my background wallpaper for the computer. Like that is just awesome. That that image alone, you got like the the moon of death or black hole, whatever it is up there. The swords, the, the woman with the horns. No, I don't understand why. Obviously, it's everything's not going to be explained. Why is it when she was doing her blade of death? Why her hair turn all white? Like if this blade was broken, how did she just make another one? I don't know. Weird, but intriguing has my interest. It's immediately like that's why one thing I give Honkai that uh, quite often some things make no sense in the universe. That I've accepted that, but there's enough like threads all over the place to pique your interest to pull you in. That's one of the reasons why I'm still playing the game because like some games like I, I play 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 it for a couple of weeks and I'm bored, move on to the next thing. But that's why I keep coming back to Honkai because there's all those threads everywhere. I want to know like. Almost fucking nothing is explained, which is awesome and at the same time frustrating. But there's enough in there you can go, you can go down the rabbit hole and find the stuff, which is really cool. And I like that. So this trailer alone, you know, just it piques my interest enough. I want to know about more about her, the swords. What world is that? Can we go to that world? Because that looks cool. Sitting on the edge of an event horizon? Sure, why not? We've probably done stupider things in the game, so let's, we'll go there and give it a try if we can, because that'd be really cool. But that's it for this video, guys. Like I said before, and sorry if I've been rambling a lot more than usual, like first video back, it's always your little trying to get back into the rhythm of things, but we're good. Um, I really, really enjoyed that. Looking forward to doing the next video. Uh, again, if you have any suggestions of what we should do next, look at, uh, by all means, let me know in the comments section. Um, yeah, and I've got more videos coming. I've got gameplay coming. It's going to be a little bit longer to get them back out because I've got to re-edit hours of footage again. Fun. But there's basically, like, I'll put out like probably like a handful of videos at the very least, like my very first time playing Honkai and like the first like, I don't know, planet or two. 
and then we'll, we'll jump to, to some other stuff so that way we're not just slowly going through it unless you just want to watch all of it then we can certainly arrange it but anyway that's it for this one guys thank you very much for watching greatly appreciate it hope everyone has a fantastic start to the week it is tuesday good some days i don't know when you work nights you sort of lose track of days but yeah so this is it for this video and i'll catch you the next one toodles